little song, ha ah, ha ha. When I want to drive my cares away, a song will help me along. I love to hum all the day. Whenever skies turn to gray, I don't have to run to catch the sun as long as I hum a song. I'm out of bed a singing soon as the day begins. Long as my heart is singing, it's fun for all and all for fun. Come on and sing, ha ha ha, a little song, ha ha ha. If you want to drive your cares away, you can go with a song. You can go wrong with a like somebody's running off with part of Tom Harkin's cattle. Isn't there something we can do about it? No one can catch him now. That isn't the first time. Why can't they let poor Tom alone? Come on, let's ride over and see him. Don't cry, Mama, please. There's no use grieving about it, Eve. I've got to find a way to put a stop to it. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Miss Josie. Why, Billy, if I'm missing you for just two days, it seems as if you'd grown an inn. I'm going to help Daddy soon, aren't I, Daddy? You sure are. Some more of my cattle have been run off. I thought that's what we saw. I'm beginning to think there's something behind all this trouble I've been having. Have you seen the Sheriff, Tom? Yes, he does all he can, but he can't always be on the ranch. And I can't afford to hire any more hands. Well, John Tolan has a lot of influence in Powder Springs. And he's your lawyer. Do you think it'll do any good to see him? Well, he's the one who can do it. Let's ride over and see him now. All right, we'll get ready. Come on, Eve. Am I going to? Would you like that, Billy? It's swell. Will you sing for me, too? Well, I might, if you're a very good boy. I always am. Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> Sawed out shrimp, I think I'll make you dance for that. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. It was an accident. An accident, eh? Well, that's what they'll tell your ma when they send back the body. He didn't do any harm. You should have had your horse tied. Take it easy, partner. There's no reason to get so mad. Who are you? I'm asking you the same question. Well, sooner or later, stranger, you'll know that what I say around these parts goes. All right, you boys, get your loud mouth call away from here. Thank you, son. Thank you, stranger. But you're going to have trouble with those men. That Garrick's a bad hombre. Yeah, don't worry about it, friend. But you better vamoose before there's any more trouble. Yeah. Better get back to the ranch, Cupy. Okay. Thanks for coming to his assistance. It's all right. Glad to be of service. Then you'll be welcome to come to my ranch, too, anytime. Well, I might want to come over and visit the boy. 
Tom, we'd better be getting over to John Towens. I'm Tom Hawkins. Well, I answer when you ask for Dick Williams. This is Dorothy Hendricks. Has the ranch above Circle H. Uh, that's mine. Now that we sort of met official like, I... Well, I... Thanks for the help. Hope to be seeing you soon, Williams. <laughs> so long. So long. Hello, Mr. Cullen. Hello, folks. What's wrong? Somebody's been trying to drive them off of Circle H. They've been rustling their cattle. One night they came and set fire to our barn. Well, any idea who's behind this, Harkins? I think it's some of them outlaws from across the border. Seeing as how you have a heap of influence hereabouts, Mr. Tolan, we reckoned you could help us. Well, I'll have Sheriff Teasley on this immediately. And if we have to, we'll organize a posse. Oh, thank you, Mr. Tolan. I told Tom you'd help him. If they lost any more stock, they'd be likely to lose the ranch. Now, now, we'll see that that doesn't happen. The sheriff might start work at the river. You know Circle H runs along the river for a bit, and I think there's something going on down there. What do you mean by that, Harkins? I know they've been congregating down there regular. The ground's all stomped down like there's been a whole troop of riders. You better keep that information to yourself, Harkins, until I can make a complete investigation. We'll sure do all that you want, Mr. Tolan, but uh, you won't delay none. Not a minute. We'll start to work today. Say, hey, you're mighty handy with that cactus, son. And you're a pretty good fighter, too. <laughs> well, this looks like a mutual admiration society. And Powell here wants to thank you, too. That's right, pal. Hadn't been for this young one, we might have parted company, maybe. Good boy. He's a wonderful horse. Nah, I reckon you're right, son. Say, hey, what's your name? Billy. Billy Hawkins. We live down at the Circle H Ranch. Well, pal and I'll be out there for long, and we'll go riding together. You sure enough, Will? Well, I'm not likely to forget someone I owe my life to. Bill, we're going to be friends from now on. Suppose we shake on it. Okay, don't forget. I won't. I feel certain they can depend on you, Mr. Tolan. All right, Mr. Tolan? That's right. Why, I... Excuse me just a moment. Uh, I'll ride off the ranch tomorrow morning, uh, Harkins, and let you know what we've learned. We'll be hoping for the best. Right. Goodbye, Mr. Tolan. Good day, Mr. Tolan. Good day. You wanted to see me? I'm Dick Williams. A friend of yours down Sonora way. Look you up. Bud Ross. Well, well, well. Pull up a chair. No, thanks. Why, Bud thought maybe you might be able to use a good rider. Yes, I can. I can always use good riders. Well, uh, are you ready to go to work now? Right now. All right. You ride out of R.M. Ranch in the morning. Ask for Tex Warren. He's my foreman. Tell him I sent you. He'll find a place for you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tolan. Right. I'll be there. Forget about that guy. We'll take care of him later. But uh, that fellow Harkins knows there's something wrong going on down the river. The first thing you've got to do is to get him out of the way.
you, Pete? Seems to be coming from the Hawkins Ranch. That much shooting means trouble. Should we ride over? Yes, get the horses. Billy, I'll take care of Mother. Go ahead. Someone's coming. Let's get out of here. Right at the ranch. The folks are pretty badly shot up. Oh, come on, Billy. You're coming with us, too. They killed her. My mom is dead. I guess we got them all, except the kid. You blundering idiot. I told you to get the whole outfit. Well, before we could finish, a fellow rode up. It was that fellow, uh, uh, Dick Williams, that came to you for that job. And you let one man drive you off before you finished your job. Well... You must have been worrying about that beating he gave. I didn't think you wanted him to see any of this. You couldn't have clipped him with a stray shot, I suppose. I didn't know but what he was a friend of yours, boss. I haven't any friends, Garrick. And that goes for you, too. Now, listen, if you want to be cut in on that gold on the Harkins Ranch, You'll carry out my orders. All right. We'll finish the job. And if Dick Williams gets in your way, take care of him, too. With pleasure.
to be home. Oh, I didn't expect you for another week. Nothing wrong, I hope. No. I had such good marks at school, they let me come home a whole week earlier. I just got off the train. Aren't you glad I'm here? Oh, I've been looking forward to your coming. You know, a year is a long time to wait for the good cheer you bring. <laughs> well, it's going to be here from now on. <laughs> <laughs> and things are going to be changed around here, too. Things are going to be neat and orderly. What would you men do without a woman around? There you are. <laughs> Come on, Billy, dear. You've got to eat, dear. I'm not hungry. We've got to keep up our strength, Bill, if we want to find those men. You think we'll find them, Dick? Sure. Of course we will, Billy. And when we do, we'll put them where they belong. And soon your Uncle Rex will be here. Yeah. I just rode into town and sent him a message. He'll soon be here to take charge of things, won't he, Dave? You bet he will, Cupid. Look at that one. That's funny. Well, we'll be getting you ready for bed, Bill. There's a lot of work to do tomorrow, you know. You sing like my mother did when I went to bed? You bet I will, Billy. And we stay all night? Well, Cupid and I will stay. And you too, Mr. Dick? Oh, I suppose so. And will you play while Miss Dorothy sings? Close <laughs> your tired eyes of blue, prairie boy. I'll be watching over you, prairie boy. Prairie pony into dreamland. You're a little king in corduroy. You'll be riding through the stars pretty soon. Shaking hands with Buffalo Bill and Daniel Boone. There's a Sandman and his crew, and his prairie schooner, too. Sleep a Sure. We'll hold them all. I'll help, too. It's too late to get the lad away. All right, Cupy, ride. You! Dick Williams! You in there? It's Garrick. Yes, I recognize his voice. Come on up, Williams, and bring the kid with you. You'll have to come and get us. Better come out, Williams. It's your last chance. better take Billy and go. We can hold them off. We'd feel better if the lad was safe. You can go out the back way. But what about you? They don't want me. Better hurry. Take somebody around the front. Wilkins, you cover the rear. Right. Get away. Cover this, hombre. We'll go after them. You two follow them. I'm going to head them off. Okay.
matter? What's happened? My back hurts. Oh. Someone fired on us. Billy was hit. Better get on, Sheriff, and see if you can catch him. Come on, Morgan. We must get him to the doctor. Oh, boy. Is this where they brought Billy Harkins? Why, yes, miss. Could I see him? Well, I'm afraid not right now. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? I've known Billy since he was a little baby. I can't believe somebody deliberately shot him. They sure did, miss. And when we find the one that did it... I can imagine how you feel. I feel that way myself. Do you think you'll be all right? Well, that's what we're waiting to find out. I, uh, I suppose it'd be all right to go in now. Is he gonna be all right, Doc? I can't tell yet. Isn't there something we can do? I've already done all I can. He's been asking for you. I'm awful glad to see you. Well, I, uh, I brought a friend along. Miss Laura, I'm sure glad to see you, too. Hello, Billy. Everything's gonna be all right. Don't worry. I'm not afraid, Miss Laura. Miss Dorothy, will you finish that song for me now? Of course I will, Billy. When you lead your prairie pony into dreamland, you're a little king in corduroy. You'll be riding through the stars pretty soon, shaking hands with Buffalo Bill and Daniel Boone. There's a Sandman and his He's going to be all right. The sheriff rode by a while ago. Whoever got Billy got away from him. I think I know who it was, but I've got to be sure. Whoever was behind that bandit is just as guilty as though he pulled the trigger. But we'll find him. I'd like to help. But you're... Just a stranger. Yes, I'm a drifter, I guess, but I... Well, I sort of got to know that little lad. I'd like to help you, Dorothy. Well, I imagine I can use your help before we've finished. Why do you figure someone's after the Harkins Ranch? I don't know. But we'll find out. And we're going to start right now. this spot one day while he was in Tolan's office. Someone's been trotting around here, all right. The river flows through the Harkins Ranch along here. I wonder if it could be gold. Somebody's been digging here. This doesn't look like the right sort of gravel for gold. But... Here it is. It might have just washed down from above. Well, maybe you're right. Let's ride up the riverways. 
Can I stay here and pan a while? No, you're coming with us. like a better spot. Pebbles are smoother. Look at this. Why, it's gold, sure enough. This part of the river runs through Tolan's ranch. Remember when we came through his fence? Say. <laughs> I'll bet that Tolan doesn't know the gold he's after is right here on his own property. It couldn't be possible that he's behind all of this to get hold of the Harkins ranch. It must be. I can hardly believe it. But if it is Tolan, We'll find a way to trap him, and those thugs of his, too. You see the boss? Yeah. He says we gotta stay holed in here till our job's finished. But that kid can't identify us. Tolan says some of the others can. Oh, they can't prove nothing, and we're wasting our time. Why don't he take over the Hargan's ranch and let us take some of that gold out of the river? Well, there ain't no harm in our taking some of it out at night the way we've been doing. Young fella, when you go home today, we're gonna be right lonesome without you. Hello, children. Oh, yeah. Billy, we've come to take you home. Gee, I thought you'd never come for me. Is Mr. Dick going along, too? Uh-huh. Say, you sort of like Miss Dorothy, don't you? Oh, yes. But I wouldn't take away from you. You know what she said. I don't want another word out of you till we get home. Am I going to stay with you, Miss Dorothy? Yes, dear. Until your Uncle Rex arrives. And is Mr. Dick going to stay here, too? Well, I, I think so. You see, he's working for me now on the ranch. I, I've needed a foreman, you know. Uh, all I've had is Cupid to work for me. I get it. I won't keep her too long, Dick. Oh, you go ahead. I, uh, I've got to go down to the corral. Now there, how's that? Oh, that's fine. Miss Dorothy, you like Dick, don't you? Now, you mustn't tell everything you know. I won't. But I know you like him. And I think he's swell, too. Here you are, Billy. I brought you some new toys. Look. Look at this one. I've been playing with this one all night myself. <laughs> now you put... Look. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rex Hawkins. Howdy. We've been expecting you. They told me in town that I'd find the boy at the Hendricks Ranch. This is it, isn't it? Why, yes. And here comes Billy now. Dorothy, this is Rex. And Billy, it's your How uncle. You do. I'm awful glad to see you, Uncle Rex. Why, you're uh, quite a young man, aren't you, Billy? I want to thank you for all you've done for the boy. Oh, we all love Billy. Now, you and Cupid go for a ride while we talk to your uncle. You're going to stay for supper. Why, I of don't... course he is, dear. Come on, Cupid. <laughs> Let's sit down here. We don't want a ride. <laughs> I got something to show you. <laughs> well, there's, there's a dandy. Yeah. Look at that one. <laughs> and then I've got to get my brother's will probated. Well, John Tolan is the man for that. And I think he'll make an offer to buy your ranch. Why, I don't understand. Well, we think he's been behind some of the things that have been happening over at your brother's ranch. Now, it's only a suspicion. Maybe we'll soon be able to confirm it. Oh, look at that one. Looks just like you. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, That's a yeah. funny one. Looks like Dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, do you want to see my apple? I'd like to speak with Mr. Tolan, please. This is his office. May I help you? I'm Rex Harkin, miss. Oh, you're Billy's... I'm Billy's uncle. I'm so sorry about Billy. Thank you. It looks like the lad will pull through all right, thanks to all his friends. Oh, Uncle John, this is Mr. Harkins. Well, what can I do for you, Harkins? I came to see you about my brother's will. So, you're Tom's brother. Oh, Nora, dear. Would you mind excusing us a moment, please? Of course, Uncle John. I'm pleased to have met you, Mr. Harkins. And I am too, miss. <laughs> do you uh, have a chair, Harkins? Now, was there something particular you wish to discuss about the will, Mr. Harkins? Yes, I have a copy of the will with me. It makes me young Billy's guardian. I want you to probate it. Well, I'd be very glad to do that. Now, uh, by the way, would you like to sell, please? No, I think not, Mr. Tolan. Right. Change your mind. I think I have a buyer for you. I don't think I'll change my mind. Place is a little bit messed up lately. But I'm going to stay here and run things. <laughs> Just as you say. But it'll take about a week to file the papers on this now. And, uh, well, there's not much we can do in well, the meantime. Thank you, Mr. Tolan. I'm staying at the Hendricks Ranch until I get the place fixed up. I'll see you in about a week. Oh, all right. you said Tolman wanted to buy the ranch. Looks like you were right, Dorothy. Well, if that's true, there's a way we can beat him at his own game. <laughs> I like this. Digging up some of Tolan's own pay dirt so he can discover it on the Harkins ranch. I get so I begin the light work. <laughs> as long as I can get more like this. <laughs> We can't prove yet that Tolan wants your ranch because he knows there's gold on it. But this is the way we'll find out. I'm grateful for all the trouble you're going to, Miss Dorothy, but I don't know how I'm going to thank you for it. Eve and Tom were my neighbors and my friends. And there's Billy. I love him, too. And for his sake, I'm going to bring the murderers to justice. Here we come. Do that gravel all around in there. I think they'll find that gold. Because it is the way we believe some of Tolan's men have been digging here. And he doesn't know it comes from his own ranch. <laughs> it begins like a game of cheating cheaters. Well, in about a week you'll be seeing him. And then we'll find out if his men have found any more of the gold. Boss had that stuff we took out of the Circle H assay, and it gets better all the time. Yeah? And what does he want us to do? The first thing is to take care of Rex Harkins. I saw him right into town this morning. You take Alan and Tony, grab him, and bring him out here. And Sandy, you better ride into town and have uh, Tolan come out here. We'll get our split settled before we go any further. You know he'll take care of us. We oh, how are you, Harkins? I thought I'd drop in and see if you arranged things about my brother's will. Everything's in shape. The court accepted the provisions of the will, and uh, you're now the boy's legal guardian. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that ranch, Mr. Toll. Huh? It's going to be a heap of work. Maybe you'd like to get rid of it? Well, in a way, I would. But then I'd like to find a small one, a small ranch first. Well, we'll, uh, we'll find one for you. I, uh, I heard that you had a ranch. Yes, I have. Uh, the bar am out in the valley. Well, I might consider an exchange with a little money to boot. I need some cash, seeing that Tom didn't leave much. Well, I, I might be able to do that. Now, you see, uh, I hate to lose Florium, of course, but uh, if I get a larger ranch, why, I guess it'll be all right. Now, I could give you, let's see, uh, say about uh, $1,200 on the exchange. Did you make that $1,500? $1,500? Well, 
Well, I don't know. I... Well, for the sake of Tom and Eve and the kid, I'll do it. Well, you have all the papers here, the ones that went through the court. I think the deed's with it, isn't it? Yes, I have it right here. That's right. Yeah, we can make a deal now. I'd like to. And get to work for the boy's sake. Well, I don't see any reason for delay. There you are, Mr. Hawkins. Signed there. Now, I'll keep the uh, deed to uh, Circle H. There's $1,500 and the deed to Bar M. Well, you've done me more of a favor than you know, Mr. Tolan. Thank you. I'd hope that'd see you. I'm going to ride over the ranch with you to see Billy. Well, you'd better get on the right side of his guardian first. Who's that? Me. Oh, then I don't think I'll bother. Well, I see we'll have to spend a lot of time teaching you how important guardians really are. Well, you don't have to stand here all day to do it. Come on. We can be sure now that Billy's well again. Yes, he rides like a ranger. Let's round up our dreams, round up our dreams, down by the old cow ranch. We'll brand every memory with a tender little kiss by the light of the yellow moon tonight. Little dreams, happy dreams, lovely dreams, pleasant dreams, even some a little silly. Close your eyes, can't you see? There'll be you, there'll be me. And there's always room for Billy. Let's lasso our schemes round up our dreams. Can't you see? They'll be you, they'll be me. And there's always room for Billy. Let's lasso our schemes round up our dreams down by the old corral. about what we want. Leave her alone. I'll go with you, if you'll let her go. <laughs> Come on, get going. Get that horse on. Billy can't get lost on the range. But he's been gone for five hours. Something must have happened to him. Oh, I wouldn't worry, honest. Dick will find him. Oh, I hope he's all right. Dick should have been here by now. He'll give us a merry ha-ha when he... when he... Oh, he's a real range rider. He... he knows these parts. He... here comes Dick now. Hat. 
Did something happen to him? I don't know. I couldn't find another sign of him. But where could he have gone? I even rode over to the Harkins Ranch, but there wasn't a soul there. At another spot, I found this. MP, Nora Pride. Blake said he'd have a ride back. Something has happened to them, too. Now, we know why Rex went into town to see John Tolan. He's in this somewhere. Dick, we're going to see Tolan. We'll have to bluff him. We can't wait any longer for proofs. QP, you stay here in case Billy and the others come back. Oh, shucks. I don't like John Tolan either. I want to go along. That's all right, QP. We'll bring him back to you. Unexpected pleasure, Miss Dorothy and Dick Williams. Let's put our cards on the table face up. We've suspected you for a long time of being implicated in the murders of even Tom Hawkins. Why, you're out of your mind. What possible reason could I have had? I hardly knew them. We'll get to the reason later. What concerns us now is that young Billy Hawkins is missing. Why come to me about it? We should go to the sheriff. We will, but we came here first because we think Nora and Rex Harkins have also disappeared. My niece? That's impossible. Is she here? No, 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 she isn't uh, right now. She went for a ride this afternoon with that uh, Harkins chap. And never arrived at the ranch. Tolan, we're going to keep on this until we find out who's responsible. I tell you I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. Now get out. Get out. If any harm comes to that little lad, Get out. And don't come back here with any more of your accusations. Come on, Dick. Keep your eye on the house. I'm going home for a little while. All right. Any word at the ranch? Nothing. I'll go find the sheriff so we can get a posse together and start searching. Now, don't let Tolan get away. Not a chance. I swear I'll shoot. When did you get here, Cupid? Oh, I got tired waiting out at the ranch. I knew you'd finally come here. Well, where is the sheriff? At his house, I guess. Well, go find him and have him meet us over at the Tolan house. Okay.
Where's Garrick? He's in the house. Uncle John! Stay where you are. Garrick, you fool. Well, she was brought in with young Harkins. And you wanted him taken care of. Then it was you who... Garrick, that's the last blunder you will ever make. Somebody's following me, you fool. You... All right, left them. Come on. Get going. One move out of you and I drill you. Put him up! Now put that gun on the table. Come on, come on! those guns. This is the crowd that murdered even Tom Harkin, Sheriff. And John Tolan was behind it all. But you won't have to worry about him. Yes, sir. Retribution sort of overtook Tolan before the law did. Guess who? Snow White. Snow White. Say, uh, you still didn't tell me how this works. Oh, the, this? No, this. Oh, that. Well, uh, that top one, see, it goes like that, see? And then the top one goes up. And... Yes, well, how does it work? I... Uh, why do you ask so many questions, Billy? Look, funny how things work out. Tolan could have saved himself all the things that happened to him by Nora marrying into the Harkins family. <laughs> and that well-laid plan of ours. The Tolan Ranch, with all the gold on it, is back in the Tolan family, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess miracles do happen, don't they? It takes love to bring them about. I sort of found that out, too. This is the only toy you ever had over a day that you didn't break. You mean that you didn't break? But you still didn't explain to me how this one goes. Look, Billy, how would you like some peanuts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, did you go for that? <laughs> you alive? <lie>? Yeah. <laughs> By the light of the yellow moon tonight Little dreams, happy dreams, lovely dreams, pleasant dreams Even some a little silly Close your eyes, can't you see? There'll be you, there'll be me 
And there's always room for Billy. Let's laugh so our schemes round up our dreams. 